All right, uh, welcome to the uh, Paley Center for Media uh, Q&A with the Broad City people. I'm supposed to welcome the people watching this via live stream. Uh, if you are, uh, that's impressive. Uh, <laughs> And, and you could literally be here, because there's like six empty seats, so uh, get down here, come on. Um, uh, all right, I'm super psyched they asked me to do this, and I guess I'll just uh, introduce the people who are on the panel now. Um, all right, uh, let's hear it for our guests, Amy Poehler, Lucia, there we go, one at a time, Amy Poehler. <laughs> Lucia Agnello. Yeah. Abby Jacobson. I don't know where go over there. And Alana Blazer. Wow. Look at this genre. Okay. We're all friends. All right. Hey. Oh. We did that well. That was great, guys. <laughs> Are so good. Yeah. I was nervous about that. Yeah. Was the scariest yeah. part, logistically. Let's all let's all have some water yeah. after. Let's have some water Stay now. Guys. <sighs> all right. So, um, Q and A time, team. <laughs> uh, I know. I know. I kind of know some of this stuff. Some of this is nice for me because I get to just ask questions that I should have asked you like as human beings years ago. But I'm an <laughs> asshole, uh, and so I didn't. <laughs> um, so we can get it out of the way now. Uh, <laughs> Where are you guys from? <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think, I mean, uh, I guess a good place to start, and honestly, I don't know, is like how, I'll just start with you, Abby and Alana, if I would. Uh, like, how did you guys start performing, and, and what was, I mean, yeah, and then how did you meet, I guess? Okay, I will <laughs> begin. Um, so <laughs> weird to not have to hold anything. Yeah. The mic is right here. <laughs> um, I moved to New York after college. I went to school uh, for visual art, and I moved here to go to the Atlantic Conservatory. Woo! <laughs> great institution. Great, great, great. The story takes a turn right here. Takes a quick <laughs> turn. <laughs> quick turn a weekend <laughs> when it was just not right. Um, <laughs> it was really not right for me. <laughs> really, really heady. Um, and uh, my roommate at the time, who I was living with, was like, you, based on your work at, I went to a school called Micah in Baltimore. She was like, based on your work at, at Micah, I really think you should check out this place, the Upright Citizens Brigade. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna go, go to that place. And I went by myself Ooh. <laughs> to be really dramatic about it. Yeah. I don't know what show I saw, but I was like, this is, this is like where I need to be. This is, I had never seen anything like that. I, it was an improv show for sure. And it was just like, I was like, this is, my life needs to completely take a turn. I quit it, quit Atlantic. <laughs> my dad's right here, I cried on the phone on 15th and 8th. And I was like, I'm quitting. And I started taking classes at Atlantic. And then about a year in, I met Alana. And um, Meanwhile. I, meanwhile. meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> um, I grew up a comedy nerd with my brother. We watched um, a lot of Comedy Central, <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of this gal. Um, and we were just uh, planning to do comedy when we got to the city. Elliot was, my brother was going to NYU, and he was like, when you get here, we'll start classes. And I just, um, UCB and Stella, um, UCB the TV show and Stella, like signified to me that there was comedy outside of um, SNL. And I was like, oh, there must be like a whole thing going on um, that's not just SNL in the city. And uh, it was true. I came to college basically to go to UCB. It was, it was, it was expensive. <coughs> classes were more expensive than <laughs> But uh, it got me to the city, and that got me to UCB. OK. So you're both at UCB. Yep. Are you like in classes, like just in, yeah. uh, in classes? We and started. Then? We like took yeah. classes, but never together. Started at almost the same time, same like month. That's like I think that's like the reason that we met because we came in like the same wave. What like year so is this did. vaguely? 2006. 2006. Okay. Six, yeah. Okay. But then in 2007, we hadn't <laughs> met each other yet, but we like couldn't get on like the house teams, so we had to 
do practice groups, and that's where we met in like a practice group. The guy who plays Dale on the show, on like the ninth episode of the first season, is the guy who introduced us. Tall redhead, and he's Tim like, Martin. Alana with the balloons. <laughs> um, he introduced us. Yeah. Um, and then we were taking, uh, we were doing these practice groups like every, uh, like once a week for about two years. two years. And we hosted a show at Under St. Mark's Theater. Everyone got a shot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like Southern Comfort or whatever other like disgusting drink. And we were like spending money on like rehearsal space and like a coach and then renting out a place and like hoping like five bucks at a time we would like make back the thing or whatever. <laughs> and um, we came to a point where we wanted to make more permanent material. Something we say is that we wanted to send our parents links. <laughs> to be like, Check it out. Enjoy, please. Because they were they were like really supportive, but I think I think at a certain point they were like, "What are you doing?" They're like nice. <laughs> They're are nice doing? parents. They're nice, for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, you know, it is like, what's going? You know. They're great parents. Did they come out and watch you guys perform and stuff like that? I think yeah, it's just like times. it was just bad. It's just not <laughs> the right. It's not the right show. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're grasping for anything. Like, so it's always like D dicks. <laughs> it's like, like we don't need to. You don't need to come. Yeah, we've we really veered away from dicks now on the, sh <laughs> the TV show. Thank God. Yeah. We're trying to get away. <laughs> Keep bringing us back, you know. But um. Mm -hmm. But uh, we were able to send you guys YouTube links. Woo! That made a difference to us, at least. So you start, uh, like, so how does it evolve into these things that you film? Like, do you literally get a frame? Like, who, do you get a frame with a camera? Like, how does it, how, how, how was the first time that you actually we, I mean, first, like, the meeting to write stuff. We, like, yeah. started the spreadsheet that we still, um, continue and hope that our writers will be like, brilliant. Mm -hmm. I don't think like, they open it. No, it's... We've <laughs> opened it. <laughs> well, you, it's open. You've opened it, but it's like, it's not Just full Just so we sentences. can see that you're like shared on It's it. not full sentences. Which no. is viewing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, um, but it's not full sentences. It's not like genius ideas, but we're like, guys, please love these, these, uh, Ideas. Well, we met um, one night at this pizza shop on 30th and 7th, which is like kind of diagonal from UCB, the old UCB training, training center, the former. Um, and we met, like, I guess after one of our, we were taking, someone was in a class at the time, and we were like, what if, because I had been doing that show, and you were like, well, I want to do something. Yeah, like Abby um, had this experience with a show where, uh, she and her partner didn't want to move forward with notes, and I was like, I take, I'll take notes, you know, like, I'll do it. What if we, I had been, um, my brother and I had been, like, producing shows, so, like, sort of curating them, but not, like, writing material, you know? And I was doing stand-up, and we were doing improv, and it was just, like, it felt like this, um, this sort of anchor we might be able to... Uh, we can't ride an anchor, but something, <laughs> something anchoring. A mobile anchor that you can ride. That yeah. doesn't yeah. sink. A floating, a floating mobile anchor. Mobile anchor. Yeah. Uh, but it was That's like, how I describe the show. Too. <laughs> <laughs> it was just like this centering thing. I was like, well, why don't you, why don't we do something? And then we She's started like, writing oh, so just ideas. And they were really teeny in the beginning. And then we created this spreadsheet. And then I think I went on to this thing called the IRC. Improv Resource Center. Dot I think com. that still exists. Not and, dot biz. And, dot and on this com yeah. company. Improv Resource Center? Re yes. And people would post Resource, like. Resource. You say yeah. because they're Canadian. Yeah. <laughs> people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know how you spell favorite, <laughs> that kind of shit. Drop the U for my. Uh, oh, good. Thank avoid you. Avoid ridicule. Yeah, yeah. Thank oh. you. <laughs> this closed-minded. Uh, okay, so you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we had like enough ideas that it was like, all right. Okay, how many more know. cells can you know what I mean? We have to like do this. So. Yeah, so we went onto this database, and people would post like, oh, I, I'm. I want to be shooting more, I want to be editing more, and it's all people from the community posting, and a couple people were our friends, and so we, I like got in touch, and, and we started, like, they, someone would hold a boom, and someone would shoot it, and, and then we would like sort of work together, and it just, it just like kind of kept going, and we were like, this is working, and this one, 
All right, I'll keep going. <laughs> I was, like, was out you can you. Oh. This one, so we put the first, the first video out, which is us like making change, I think. Yeah. And Lucia, who I had had a terrible, I think it was a terrible class. It was not our best. It was class. not our best improv class. We've um, been in improv class. class. Yes. yes. But yeah, Lu yeah. Lucia wrote us and was like, "You guys are making something special and real." And we were like, "Lucia's cool." Fuck yeah, we're <laughs> <right>. <laughs> no, and but really, that was yes. a big deal because it was like someone we. It was like a peer who like we loved her sensibility, and then we were like, "Well, people like it. Let's like keep doing it." And it was all like. It was on YouTube, but the whole thing, the whole momentum was on Facebook at the time. It was like just so down low, you know? It was like on our profiles and people were like sharing and you could actually track the viewership, like literally see the person and they're like, where they live, their interests, you know, it's like so <laughs> weird, it was so weird. And um, just over two years, it became further and further degrees away that people were seeing the show. It was really the first thing I think from like our community that felt like it wasn't sketchy or big or making fun of other people or topical or trying to get hits for whatever reason. It really felt like an honest thing that people were making about us and it was really, really funny. And so I think that I think that's why it resonated at least in like a very small way, even just in our like UCB community. Like mm -hmm. I, I think that's what like set it apart from the beginning. Hmm. To me. <laughs> <laughs> and you started directing the internet shows. I did, I did one of the webs, yes, one of the web. Um, I don't know if no one else showed up or what happened, but that shoot was literally the three of us. <laughs> we just left, we all worked together at the same place at oh, that yeah. time and just left work and went to my apartment and shot the video. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we all had the same day job, which was uh, like loosely based on deals, deals, deals. Called Life, it was Life, Life Booker. Booker. It's a great yeah. company, actually. Yeah, great company. <laughs> yeah. We were, it was the VChat webisode, and we yeah. were like in <sighs> other rooms trying yeah. to actually record. <laughs> it was a shit show. I can't believe that, that cut together. Actually. Well, I think most of the YouTube comments are like, this continuity <laughs> sucks so bad. <laughs> I cannot believe you uploaded it. What's going on <laughs> YouTube to, to <laughs> like, take someone down on their continuity. What is everybody. <laughs> they <laughs> search for everybody. that. Everybody. Yeah. I do that at night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and had you directed anything before that? Yeah, um, well, oh, my, yeah. The, my writing partner, um, Paul W. Downs, who um, is Woo! here. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> He also plays um, Trey on, on the show, Abby's Boss. Um, we've been making web stuff uh, for a while, actually kind of around the same time that you guys have been making stuff. Um, so it was like really concurrently that we'd been making things and um, kind of a similar thing, like writing it, directing it, cutting it, and performing in it. And then it kind of was just like friends being like, hey, great, keep going. Because Paul wrote us too in the same way and was like, this is like really good. And it was, you know, it takes like a certain agency to be like, hey, just want to let you know. Yeah. It was yeah. cool. I will say while we're at this stage in the story, <laughs> that I should say we had a ton of people direct and help us make the web series. We shouldn't mention them. <laughs> no, I just wanna, I just wanna, I just wanna make okay, sure that fine. that's okay, like, you know what I mean? Like there was a top, there was like so many different people helped us make that and- And people I showed like up like, we were like, you know, now working on the show, it's like, oh, sound is like a whole thing. It's its own thing. But at the time, we were like, yeah, hold the boom. <laughs> <laughs> hold the boom. <laughs> You're fine. You're fine. Hold yeah, the boom. Yeah, yeah. It was just like, <laughs> it was so like truly DIY. And the first season, we, we were really like camp counselors of the whole project and being like, isn't this great, everybody? And I think people enjoyed it. And it was like a chance to get experience. And then the second um, web season, we, uh, decided to like pay our director slash editor what is now clearly a minuscule amount but was so much for us and, out of pocket. And food. And food. They got fed oh. and that was yeah. so, it was it really. I really do think it was yeah. fun. It was, it was fun for, for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun. I, like it was like, we still refer to the web experience for the TV show um, to just be like, what did we do in that situation? And it ends up being kind of just a bigger version of that. Mm -hmm. I see. And Amy, is mm -hmm. this around when you became aware of? Well, uh, I, I think you guys have been in your second, where you were at the end of your second web series season when, when I, I, I had known about their work. I'd known about them when they were performing at UCB a little bit, and I'd known about their web series. And then um, Abby and Alana asked me to, um, to do something in it. And it was right around the corner from my house. 
Easy. And I was like, oh, okay, this will just take an hour, and it's around the corner from my house. <laughs> an hour and a half, totally. Luckily, that was coincidence, and yeah, not like, it was, uh, it was, you know, it was plan. based on that. Or something. <laughs> it wasn't like, we didn't know. Yeah, and, um, Honestly. We and honestly <laughs> didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> Did not know. And we got to do work together, and I was like, oh, I mean, you know, there's like an, a very obvious um, t talent and chemistry and all that stuff. But what, what impressed me immediately was like their shorthand, the way that they felt like they had been a team working together for a really long time. And also that they just knew how to produce quickly and wor work fast and they weren't like super precious with their stuff all that stuff that like lends itself to like being able to take this really lovely little jeweled thing and make it a bigger thing but um they were talking about um some of their next phase stuff and i had i was starting to do more producing so we just kind of, it just kind of started there we just organically talked about we talked about talking about it and then we talked about it and talked about it again uh -huh. and, talked about it. <laughs> and then we um shopped it around and um, what were those conversations like? I mean, as far as, like, how much did you feel you had to change it from what it was into something that you could sell, basically, I guess? Um, was there a lot of evolution between just internally? Uh, like, how much did, like, and I've seen both things, but I wonder in your heads what you did to, you know, what, what was that process like? Like Amy's first thing was like, we should make a sizzle reel. That was like a huge, yeah. it was like thinking about it as a package. It's like, you know, we had 35 episodes and we had like a pilot written, but it wasn't like, uh, wasn't as sexy as it is now. But like, <laughs> honestly, it was like, how, how do we like make this like a sexy little package? One was the sizzle reel and then it's like, okay, you get like the feel, but then you can, bless you, but then you can like go <laughs> like deeper and watch every little episode. But then we also like, we didn't pitch and say, we have a pilot you gotta read. It was like, we had to write the pilot to know what a 30 minute episode would look like so that we could talk about it. And it was like an expanded version of, our, of, the, of the web series, but also something we were saying was like, in like the story arc, it was like, every episode was its own little webisode. Yeah. And it ended up holding true. We were like talking about it and we were like, smart, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But it was like, yeah. I couldn't believe that it came together like to that. that day it's, that it's scenes could be a day. yeah a day in the life and a scene could be a standalone web short but it adds to a bigger story it was sort of like we would we met and we're like who are the other characters mm -hmm. and um, for the most part except for a couple they're they're who we went out and pitched with mm -hmm. and the who we thought of as those characters too the casting which is pretty cool so like mm -hmm. yeah we so Hannibal was in a web um, yeah it was in one of the web videos, and we just were like, that would be an awesome expansion into the TV version, and... It's always good, yeah. as you know with comedy, it's always good to have someone in mind yeah. for parts rather mm -hmm. than the other way around. It's so hard to cast mm -hmm. parts, to just be like, I don't know, and then she's gonna have this friend, and it's like, I gotta find my friend, you know? Yeah. It's so much easier to think about how can we write for Hannibal or for Paul or anybody that you know and have already worked with, like how can you beef up what you already have? With so them? you pitched, when you went around right. with the show, you said, oh, and we'll have Hannibal as this guy, hypothetically, and the, you yeah. Kind of, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we pitched with Hannibal and Gamberly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't think we had decided where we worked yet in the pitch, but. I think we did. Did we? Yeah. Oh, I worked, but I worked somewhere else. Yeah. Yeah. It's really, people really want to know where, people really want to know, where, know where everybody works. <laughs> yeah. In pitch so meetings, they're like, you can where, talk for a long time. Yeah. It's like, but, what, but where do you work? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really important yeah, so where weird. you work. I never care. I've made movies where I've had jobs and I don't know what they are. <laughs> <laughs> we're in an office. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, so did you, I know the person who ultimately bought it is here, but did you pitch it to a lot of people? Was it a big pitching process? Did you kind of go around the... Yeah, we did. We actually had a minute where we were at IFC. And then IFC really blew it. They dropped the ball. <laughs> because, uh, I'm sorry, I, FX, not IFC, excuse me. FX. IFC. That is how little we I care. Have seen it. Oh. I know. We don't even we know where we were. <laughs> we don't even know who first paid us to write a script. It's like, they did pay us. IFC, right. remains, IFC remains, nice. remains in my good graces. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Love you, IFC. Love all the other networks. <laughs> no, FX had it for a minute, but they were doing a lot of different programming that was different, and they couldn't quite crack it and very nicely, like, kind of 
gave it back to us, which That's is nice. super nice. So mm -hmm. cool. I yeah. think, yeah, we, we, we benefited from like low, low, um, uh, from being a little um, underestimated, I think. And then, uh, and uh, I, you know, 15 years ago had done a show um, called Upper Citizen Brigade with Ken Alterman and Brooke Posh, who was also a Comedy Central, and I knew each other from SNL, and Brooke was starting her, uh, her new position at Comedy Central, and I said to Brooke, I think uh, this is the right home for it, and I think we may have, um, may have made a mistake, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> may we come back in. Um, but, uh, and yeah, and it was just a very instant and immediate, and Comedy Central is so excellent, as they've proven over the past couple years, at just letting people, whew, do their stuff at being really, really uh, good at um, trusting talent, which is really nice, and it, you can see it on their channel now very much. Yeah, so. they have a good lineup. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there's funny, there's funny people on it. Like, there's comedy. actually tons of really funny people yeah. on it. Yeah, comedy almost Central. every funny person I know is on Comedy Central <laughs> in some capacity. Yeah, you're on yeah. Comedy Central a bunch. Huh? You've been on Comedy Central. I've been on it in, 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 at times, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never in an official capacity. But um, so Comedy Central buys it, and then do you shoot a pilot, and then uh, and then mm -hmm. and then that's one step. Yeah. yeah. And then. And then they like the pilot. Buttholes clenched for six months. <laughs> Get a call. Go to series nine more episodes. But we we reshot like a, a lot of the maybe like forty percent of the pilot. Yeah. I get which it. Lucia directed. Yeah. Yeah. And what was that? Did, so all of a sudden, did you have a ton more resources and shit like that? Or did you not have a ton more resources and shit like I went to your set. I'm going to say you did not have a ton more resources. <laughs> <laughs> um, for, yeah. for us. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Okay. Yeah. All right. Some more yeah. resources. Coming from your, yeah, yeah, you're right. You put it on the Good screen. Call. You right. put it on the yeah. screen. You're right. That's right. Uh, we don't put it on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it, it's relative. It yeah. feels like an expanded version of yeah. the web series. You know? It's like, we're, we do st still like struggle for resources, I guess. Like, I mean, it's like a budget. You know what I mean? It's not like we just have to budget. Yeah. Scripts are, tend to be pretty ambitious. That's yeah. true. Yeah, too. Yeah. We're like location, They're long. We location, tend to write location. long. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And the, there's a lot of like hustle involved in the show, in the making of it, and the writing of it, and that that energy isn't always a bad thing. You no. know that like that feeling of, as you know, from like. Sometimes the luxury of time can be a real comedy killer. Oh yeah, I'm like into momentum. And yeah. I think like yeah, I like a TV schedule. Me too. Like, you get a couple takes and you're like, oh, yeah, let's fucking move on. Like, yeah. Something good or if there. something's <laughs> good, or if you're like, this is funny, you can stay there. Yeah. And you're not like. That's never happened to me. <laughs> 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 that happens. <laughs> they just keep telling me we got to keep going. <laughs> it feels really like right though for us right now. You know. We were talking because we like when, right when we wrapped, we were talking maybe should we try to make the scripts like 24 yes. pages? <laughs> and we should. Yes. Right. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you said that in the first. We said it. Yeah. We no, keep saying. I mean, it, I don't think it's the because we still will go to like a lot of locations. It's yeah, still yeah, running yeah. around. And we still. Yeah, That's yeah, the yeah. goal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, <laughs> she's like 28, 29, 30. <laughs> I don't want it to be long. It's like me against everyone. <laughs> no, I want a 28 page script. Um, but there is something we talk about like, oh, they go to so many places in one episode that we still have to make sure we maintain that like crazy sort of journey throughout the day. Or if they're not in a lot of locations, we're like, we have to, main we have to make sure the same kind of kinetic energy is happening. And it's not just like, Move into this, right. moving into this place. Even in like a bottle or something. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like what was your visual, like how did you guys talk about what you wanted the show to look like and uh, feel like? I feel like Lucia, that was like more you when we had the pilot conversation. You were, we were with Kent and Brooke in their office and Amy and you were on the phone and you had this this idea of like the, the real aesthetic quality. Yeah, I mean, I think to be honest, it's it is just like a graduation from the web series. It's you know should feel handheld to make it feel like this is really these this the life of these girls. And I mean, in terms of like you know, one of the things that we 
uh, rely a lot on, on is the like walk and talks. The girls like walking down a block and trying to keep that kind of feel like a two shot where they're we're with them the whole time so we can feel them react to each other. And I really think that the best direction is kind of no direction on this show. It's just like make sure Abby and Alana are both in the frame. <laughs> <laughs> but that was important what you said initially yeah. of the two shot, which is like different. It's like you can't cut away yeah. if you're relying on that walk and talk. That's right. like a, that's a big distinction. And I think that maybe on some shows that are cast and you're getting random people in there that like you can't really rely on that performance or that like kinetic you know, relationship, but you can in this show, so it only makes sense to rely on that because that's the thing that I think that people really react to is how much, you know, it really feels like they are best friends because they are, but it also, it, it really feeds into the aesthetic of it, um, I think, more than anything. And that seed that you planted about the two shot too, that has like a feeling of like crammedness, you know, like walking off the screen, but like coming back to the middle, you know, like to mm -hmm. each other, it's like, it does lend itself, that seed like, blossomed in many different ways. I think we talked to a lot about the idea of like it being a very street level feel of New York because most people that live in New York yeah. City don't have a lot of money and they don't spend a lot of time in their apartment. Yeah. And you kind of pack your bag for the day, right? And you're kind of out for the day and you're bopping around but you're you're just your stuff is with you and you're always carrying something. <laughs> <laughs> and so there's just like there was there's a lot of uh, uh, New York stories that tend to be that come, you know, that like are seen from a bird's eye view. So we wanted it to be like, feel the physicalness of being in the street. And you, you guys, I would say, shoot it more in out exterior New York than, than, than the, the only other show probably is like Law and Order. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes our little, our little set is like kind of next to theirs. <laughs> and, theirs is, and it's I so you. It's, huge. It's, it's just so, so, so yeah. they, block, they own the block and we, they're not like, happier than you are. Yeah. No. <laughs> there are a lot. Might, like, we like run errands for them on the way to like the next scene. We're like, do you, do you need coffee? Let's do this. So how do you, Amy, like, how does the relationship with you guys and, and how do you guys work together? Do you read the scripts and give notes or how do Yeah, I mean, I'm really lucky that I, I get to be involved because I am, um, you know, I'm learning to be a better producer all the time and so, uh, and director and, um, and so I, felt comfortable working with Brooke and Kent and like just this group and, and, and Sloven and people that I had worked with and known for a long time that um, I felt very, uh, we all, I felt like we all spoke a similar language which is really important in comedy uh, the, to share vocabulary. And then um, we just, Abby and Alana pitch, um, you know, they break stories in the room and they uh, show us outlines and I give them notes and I would give notes on scripts and notes on cuts and um, you know, I come from the, the 22 episode world, so 10 episodes is like sweet. not that bad. Yeah, <laughs> it's like no problem, 10 stories. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, and I got to direct an episode last year, and uh, and uh, it w which was great to be among their crew, which was, is a really fierce crew. Um, so yeah, we were, and my job really t was to get them more used to being in. Uh, being on screen and d show runners, which is is a hard thing to do because you have to keep a very big vision of the show and then also just focus on your acting. And that first year was kind of a, a you know a, a learning curve for how to like manage your time and energy and like figure out what battles to fight and and what to worry about and what to let go of. And um, I've said this before, but like I feel like web series to television is kind of like organ transplant. <laughs> and you know, you just have to make sure that the heart doesn't die on the way <laughs> to the patient. <laughs> you just have to yeah, pack it so in good. ice. I know. Yeah. So good Thank you that. so much. That's Thank really you. Good. <laughs> <laughs> You're like laughing, but it's good. Yeah. It's great. You just wow. have to make sure the heart doesn't die yeah. before okay. it goes When's into the it? analogy <laughs> fixed? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that makes perfect sense. Um, and so, and, and, and did you guys find that having. Had you worked, like, you, you have a creative producer all of a sudden that you're working with. Was that, uh, what was that like? Was it, was it different? Was it helpful? Was it stressful? Was it, well, uh, I mean, all those things? I, 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 like, can't imagine it any other way, which yeah. is, like, so rude because it's such an incredibly amazing way to have experienced it. Yeah, I mean. It's, like, nuts. We, we, had, we had a creative producer, but, I mean, 
it's like <laughs> touching your boob. We got, we got, we got, we got Amy Poehler to be in, you know, and it's huge. That is okay. huge. No, but I mean, just even when, uh, when, when we wrote Amy an email sending her the, the finale of the finale of the web series that she was in, and we're like, let's, let's see if she wants to do the TV show. <laughs> And we were like, no way she's ever going to say and yes. And like, the this email was insane. So, like so many disclaimers, like, we know you can't. It was we like, it was can't. drafts. There was so many we drafts of this. Can, it was crazy town. But, 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 even just you talking now, it was just got like lost and it was like, whoa. whoa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's still nuts, you know? It's still nuts. <laughs> yeah, oh, and it's so when she, she wrote us back and she, like, it was so, such a casual email back, like, I'd love to. We were like, <laughs> Oh, that's true. Really slow played it. <laughs> but you know what's funny also? It's like, um, it is still nuts and normal at the same time. Like when we first met, that was, you know, the most nuts. But we're like all the same height, you know? <laughs> we're like yeah. these like... Did you meet earlier at UCB or did you meet? No, uh, no, no. no. We're all these shoot. like... I Here's met them girls, on their set, you know? you know, I met them on their set. And I will say, like, I felt a kinship because of UCB, because even though UCB hadn't done a web series, like, we were doing all of our stuff on stage, and then we were trying to translate our scenes into a show, and there's that thing of, like, I've been doing this scene for a couple years now, I think I know how it's done. Yeah. And then sometimes <laughs> someone's like, may I gently suggest? Yeah. <laughs> and then you're, and then, and so, like, feeling very protective about the, Material, but wanting to bring it to a bigger audience, like I, I related to that and understood it, and and you know it had that experience before. So and you also um, keep saying like shorthand and vocabulary, which is like so uh, important to comedy, or at least makes it good, I think. And like UCB, the scene that you created, you know, like there was always this like downtown scene and like stand up, but UCB became this like sort of like freakier place to like <laughs> experimental, you know, it really. Um, the scene that, that you created is a shorthand itself, you know? Well, the goal always, I think, for any art that you do, right, is that you try to do what you think is good. And who knows what will happen. We've all had experiences where we've done something that we think is really good, nobody's cared or watched. And we've done things that we think, is, that we know deep inside is like, mm, this is kind of corny, but, and it's done well. And like, you know, be careful what you wish for, right? Because you can do stuff that you can be doing for seven years you're not proud of. and. Um, so I think, uh, I think it, it's a miracle when you get to do something that you think is good and then other people like it and then you get another season. It's kind of a, it's totally. kind of a miracle. It's like a God thing. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> it's true. It's well, divine. Hearing, like sort of like when, when you sort of came on board, it was like, oh, what we thought it was good. But then like when you were like, I wanted to, we were like, maybe it is good. <laughs> I mean, that's like the big, there is no bigger like, Yes, like kind of, and also you know? like we had gone to you know the school that um, you founded. You know it was like this weird like full circle. Just like hearing that you had seen the web series was this like big moment of validation. I was like, and it's like yeah, it's on the internet, dude. <laughs> you know, but like, but it was like oh, I guess really anybody could see it. <laughs> <laughs> you were one of two hundred people. <laughs> woo, woo. <laughs> Two hundred, <laughs> but, but a very strong demo. Of yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, outspoken yeah. two hundred. The demo that we want. Mm -hmm. um, I was thinking I would start asking the audience if they had any questions. Also, uh, just um, if anyone, there's people with microphones, so raise Ooh, your hand oh, wow. if you have That's anything crazy. to ask, this and we will provide a microphone to you, yeah. mm -hmm. and uh, you can ask questions. This woman down here. This woman down here. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> The first one's always, exactly. you guys will warm up to it. Anything you've ever wanted to know. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. This is um, awesome to see you all here. And I've loved Broad oh, yeah. City from oh, the beginning. Hey, Hello. Hey. And I took a class with Abby. I know you. At oh, yeah. She's yeah. a wonderful teacher. I recommend it if you teach thank my classes. Thank you. My question <laughs> is for all of you. Um, you know, since you all both um, perform in front of the camera are so brilliant creatively, but you also write and produce and direct, how do you straddle that balance? Because I, I find that sometimes it's hard to stay creatively focused when you're worried about like the producing and the writing. How do you how do you distill those all and deliver your best performance when you're also thinking of things behind the camera? Well, how did you guys adjust to that feeling of having to do yeah. all of those things? Having logistical responsibilities yeah. to worry about. 
Uh, we have a lot of other people that help us do that. <laughs> um, we work with this production company, Jackson Media. They're sitting in the back. Woo! Oh, hi, guys. Hi, guys. Raise your hands. And they, yeah. like, help, they help us. Help us with the logistics. Do, they like, do, I mean, I... And not just yeah. like, um, oh, then we'll push it back an hour. It's like, no, creative solutions to um, problems, like in from our writing, that our writing causes. <laughs> um, and we also have like a, a writer's room. We have, we do, um, you know, writer's room for three month, months and punch-ups as well. So we like keep all the jokes saved in a file so that we can like pull them out later. Um, it's kind of, well, we have like different stages what you're saying, but like, I guess, think that's something that anyone could sort of create for themselves are different stages of the process too. It's also it like, it easier. I'm like going into teacher mode with you again. <laughs> <laughs> it's also like this sort of like onness that like you get to set and it's like, all right, this is it. Or, or you get to the writer's room and it's like, all right, this is it. Or the edit and it's like, all right. It's just kind of like, you gotta um, woman up to it every day. That's what I do. <laughs> we learn from you. <laughs> woman up. Good answer. Anyone else? There, this woman in the black and white sweater. <laughs> Thank you. Good, good, good. Hi, how are you? It's really interesting to see the girls in their adventures, um, but where do you see them once they've hit their stride? You know, in the future. For example, does Abby finally get to you know lead, lead the class like like we saw there? You know, what's kind of their um, ideal in the this yeah, season, you, you have, like, this season is yeah. so <laughs> so good. I, I I have to say, like it's real. If you are a fan of the show, I think you'll be really really excited about. It. But I don't know if anyone really grows or learns. <laughs> <laughs> you know? it, we talk a lot that it's like. It's just 10 days in a row. <laughs> like, and we're like, oh no, it was just 10 days ago. Was that, you know? Yeah. It's very like two steps forward, three steps back, I guess. It's also like in real life, I'm like, am I 16? I like don't, <laughs> myself, I like, I'm like, yeah, I guess I'm older, but also we're all like ourselves younger too. Like, I, I don't know. It's, we, we talk about that a lot, but it's also like they kind of don't ever have to grow either if we choose that route. Well, it's a good balance, and it's, I've never written a TV show, and I would imagine it's hard to make it feel like every episode has an emotional arc, but, but yet at the same time, every episode, you are not teaching the character the lessons that would nullify the show mm -hmm. um, as a concept. <laughs> 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 We're good now. This is great, yeah? Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, I'm just like, isn't that like li life, kind of? It's like, you learn, but also like, eh. Do you? Do you? <laughs> Profound. And now, any, <laughs> any, any analogies? To your like a, it's like a heart. box of, it's like a box of chocolates. <laughs> uh, all right. Her good. question was definitely answered. Yeah. <laughs> was in the back. It's fun to pick his game. Yeah. Hi. Um, I was wondering whether you're either writing a character and creating their story or whether you're taking on someone else's character that they've mm. created. What draws you to want to tell that character's story? <sighs> <laughs> that was too complicated. No, yeah, that was good. Well, I think it, as far as Abby and Alana character, we're, it's obviously like heightened versions of us and that's why we think those are important stories to tell. <laughs> um, it's, clear. it's clear why we do that one that way. Yeah, that's true. That's why we focus on the two of them. Um, but They're the other characters, you know? it's important. <laughs> the other characters, I think, um, and I think we like all like fell in love with the other characters this season and really oh my God. went with storylines <laughs> that just made us laugh in the room. And they're all sort of based on um, pieces of different people in of all the writers we have uh, and people we know and stuff that's happened to us or friends of ours or friends of friends and so it's really fun to get to like sort of pile them together and then have it's just like fun yeah I think it's more like at least in Broad City it's more story right now than we did fall in love with the characters but like Abby and Alana are these like boxes that we get to put like certain stories in like the wild story or the, the like story that overcomes you know and then we've gotten to learn our um other characters we've gotten to know them through writing the season 
I think right now it's more like, because we, we like take stories from our friends or our writer's friends. Or like yeah, how much of it is specifically based, like, like is there anything that is like specifically based on things that have happened in the show it's, that you would be comfortable? <laughs> I mean, it's pretty much like, most of it. seeds. Yeah. yeah. There, there's everything's a little wider this season. Like we see some of Alana's family, and we um, we see more of like um, Abby's work. We go to a bunch of new places in New York City, which is what I love about Broad City. Is you're like, don't forget, there are boats here. <laughs> you know, <laughs> don't forget, don't forget. Um, there's. Like great guest stars this season, Seth included, people who make like really organic sense. So it's not like doesn't feel stunty, but like you'll turn the corner just like New York and you're like, hey, there's so and so. I don't know if I can do any spoilers, mm -hmm. but um, so there's a lot of that. Like everything just feels a little bigger, a little more because you know, for the first season, we, re we really wanted to make sure that everybody knew that at the end of the day, this show is like a love story between Abby and Alana. They're the couple, they're the they're the, the two that you have to care about. And um, we worked really hard in that first season to make sure that everybody felt that. And then we felt a little bit freer to open things up a little bit in this season and, yeah. and uh, include more of the world. Yeah, what did you feel like you learned throughout the first season, I guess, that you were applying to? Oh my God. Like how so the much. whole thing works. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was very like, like the second season. We were like this behind every table. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no. It was like this, um, I'm like sweaty now though, sorry. Um, I, uh, this season it, it was like, you know how like in comedy three makes a pattern. So if we get another season, then we'll like be able to be like, right, I see. I do this in these situations our strengths and our weaknesses. But like this second season, it was kind of just like, is this a coincidence that, you know, that we keep writing this kind of story or is this gonna be a pattern that we can build upon? So, we're, I mean, we're always like learning, but first season was just like, like a wave of just the whole entire thing. <laughs> yeah, I think we were confident in like this voice, like in the friendship and the dynamic between the two characters. But then when we went, you know, we got into the writer's room and it was like, Comedy Central let us hire our friends and it, it makes a big difference when people know us and they can write those other versions of us. And going from like three to five minutes into 21 minutes and 15 seconds is, um, <laughs> is a big difference and writing these bigger storylines I think was was the thing that um, we learned and I, I think we will have we'll continue to get better at it. it's still a, a growing process for sure it also kind of felt like from my experience that you guys knew what you wanted kind of from day one of the first season and I think that was really cool and unique and for I think a lot of people who maybe had their first show at such a a young age, am I right? <laughs> but, uh, uh, but like, I think that is a really rare and cool thing. Um, and I think that that's part of why it kind of works from soup to nuts, like why it kind of already had its voice there, not only because of the web series, which was a big part of it, but I think you guys just knowing what the show was and knowing kind of, even if you didn't know exactly which way to aim, you like knew the direction every time. And I think that that's something you've done even better and gotten better at your aim, but it's it was it's always been there. I think. <laughs> I have a question about like when you when you. I'm always impressed that TV shows, like you know, in order for us to make our movies play like remotely well, we test them so many times yeah. with audiences, and we're able to like almost mathematically find what's working and what isn't, and kind of shake right. out all the shit that isn't, and hopefully you have stuff that is. How do you do it on TV? I'm always impressed when I watch your show and I watch Park. I'm well, like, with it's with funny. your honestly, with your <laughs> with your with your movies are the exception, but most movies suck. Yeah. <laughs> so most television is so much better than movies. <laughs> and um, you know, it's movies true. are boring, and acting is embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> my second book but uh but what you guys maintain with with your work is like there's still like that like there's a there's like a tone that you know they that, like you you still do what makes you, you laugh even you know and it's like it's like i think shows that do that that like have their own sensibility that stick to it yeah that don't feel over noted or over and and that depends always on the creatives who are working too like 
and their sensibility and trusting that and all that stuff. But um, uh, but yeah. do you like literally watch it in a room with the right? Like, is there any is there any process that it goes through to see? Who laughs at what? Uh, well, I mean, I'm, I'm so I'm just personally fascinated by this because we do so much of that. Uh, we have like different passes yeah. on the episodes, but it's really still like the inner circle. You know, it's like we have a producer's cut, there's a director's fine, cut, yeah. and then or the editor makes a cut, an assembly, and the director makes a cut, and then we do a producer's. But cut. there's never more than like four people watching it at a time. It gets sent to Comedy Central on us, yeah. but no, it's not. But it's kind of like there's a not a lot of opportunity for reshoots too. That's the yeah. So it doesn't yeah. matter really. Yeah. It's kind of that. Thing, like, well, I guess those five minutes didn't work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> well, that's. Yeah, I mean, the post schedule is. I mean, how much time do you have? But I mean, it's pretty short. <sighs> I would imagine. Right? Um. We did, we finished on Monday. Kind. We yeah. now all we have to do is um, like color and and yeah. sound stuff. But, but it's, I think it's like a month and a half. September 20th to November. For all the episodes? Third, mm -hmm. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Uh, so that's like, a short post game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it was like, yeah, like five or six weeks, but truncated, we, like, not truncated, but condensed for the tour that we're on. So it was like, I think it would maybe take two months if we had done it in like a more normal schedule. And are people editing as you're shooting? This year, yeah. This yeah. Year. Okay, more questions? Now that I know what I need to know. <laughs> <laughs> to run my TV shows. <laughs> this is what tonight's about, getting <laughs> Seth more work. <laughs> Here, with so this car. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. Um, first, I want to compliment you, because I think that Abby and Alana's relationship in the show is so real, versus everything else that you see on TV, it feels like... <laughs> friendships that I have in the city. Um, but I wanted to ask specifically about the Drake music, or the story from the bottom, where that came from, and have you talked to Drake about it? Because it's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> we have not talked to Drake about it. <laughs> we will one day. Canadian connection, though. He's cool with it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's done, kibosh. Um, but that was, uh, that was a big, I mean, we knew that we had this storyline, and we wanted to make this, like, video to it and that was just the song we picked to uh, like dance to in the shoot but then we were like comedy central <laughs> well <laughs> after like, we, we shot that yeah ap after it was like in the cut in like the production sound it like worked so well <laughs> and um, our yeah. editor Nick Muji and director Nick Jesnovic I mean they like put their hearts on that video so hard it was we just had it was it was fun. It was like weirdly like the end of a night and time was running out and Nick was really um, like, it was like he was really like demanding as a director in a good way where we were like, yes, we will, we knew that we would have enough time. That's so hard to imagine. I know. <laughs> He's normally like, um, just like a, a gentle dude, but he was like, no. This yeah, is hurry like, up, guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's, so him. That's exactly what he sounds like. Um, but he was, I mean, it was, it was just, uh, you know, this um, huge bank in uh, Crown Heights. Um, and we just, I don't know, we just threw money around. Somebody like, like snow blew it, you know, it was like I think so it was DIY. based on, we were all, when we were all working at Life Booker, I like sold this drawing and quit my job. <laughs> <laughs> well, you, you, it worked. Yeah, but it, it did work, but it was maybe not like in the, there was a couple months where I was like, I don't know, this is going to work <laughs> out. It just happened to be right when we were going to pitch the show. <laughs> um, but that it was like that mentality of like, you get your first big check and maybe everyone else that like it's really not that big in like the overall scheme and you like really overreact and so uh and missy elliott tweeted about that yeah yeah that's awesome wait that was such a last minute costume thing yeah i remember we were talking about that and that yeah. costume was dope <laughs> and um that was really exciting because she she's she, she, she doesn't tweet for anybody no. I, that I was i mean that was i would imagine i don't imagine know. i don't know. <laughs> uh, all right who else in the middle, this is going to take some teamwork, guys. Go ahead, uh, gentlemen. I'm not going to be end of the aisle exclusive here. <laughs> that lady's got a big-ass camera. I know. Yeah. <laughs> Bullets going to come out of there. All right. Um, so I am such a fan of each and every one of you on the <clears throat> stage, and I'm totally fangirling right now. So if my heart starts, like, hitting the microphone, just <laughs> go with it. Um, so I am a total nerd, and I like to think of, like, I don't know, 
some sort of like spiritual world where we're all connected and I like to <laughs> and, <laughs> and I like to lead and I like to lead my life like by trying to bring people together and do something bigger than ourselves and that's kind of my motto which then makes me want to ask everyone on this stage what is your life motto and or mission and it can be like creative related or it can be just like <laughs> <laughs> can be what related? Or it can, it can be like, like, like be kind. Motto. Period. Okay. Yeah. Good question, Seth. <laughs> <laughs> ah, do it up. You got it, rogues. <laughs> Web series is like a heart transplant. <laughs> <laughs> Lucia. Um, Regarding plastic surgery, refresh, <laughs> don't redo. <laughs> yes! Take what you get. Just take what refresh you get. Refresh it, yeah. don't redo it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, Abby? Um, stretch before <laughs> and after. <laughs> oh, that's good. Good yeah. to know. Alana? Um, legit, tell the people you love that you love them. Oh. Oh, oh wait! <laughs> and um, mine is stitches get stitches. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Hear that? Okay. In the back. In the back. Let's. Uh, this lady, two rows in there. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Um, I have a question for when you're starting out writing, when you started writing for yourself. Like, how did you develop your voice, you know, up until that point where you felt confident, like, in your voices that you could write for it? So, like, do you have any advice for people that are taking classes at UCB right now and, like, want to write for themselves eventually, but at first you feel like you make stuff that sucks? Like, how do you get to the point where yep. you're good at it? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You know that Ira Glass quote? Yeah, it's a great quote. Yeah, and he's just like, it's like, imagine you have like 10,000 scenes to write, and then the 10,000 and first, you know, I'm like butchering it, but the 10,000 and first is like your first good one. It's just like, just do it. It's going to be like really bad at first. <laughs> just do it. Yeah, he does, he does give a great quote reminding that not enough people talk about how bad their stuff is at first. That it's, it's about the doing of it that it's just like any muscle. You have to just do it and do it and do it and not really worry so much about if you're waiting for it to be good, then you know, you'll wait forever because it's only by doing it does it get better and do you get better. So just do it and do it and do it and do it. And you know, if you don't, don't let anybody read it for like 10 years. <laughs> yeah. J.D. Salinger, that shit. <laughs> Mail it out to strangers. <laughs> Die, leave it under your bed. <laughs> uh, okay, over here, over here. You could probably shout it. We would hear it. <laughs> it's for the it's for the it's for oh, the sorry. live cast. <laughs> 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 There's seven people watching this on their computers. <laughs> I have to make sure to hear every question. Ten people masturbating to this. <laughs> Wait, it's for all the people that are masturbating to it. Let's I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So, uh... Other than the two of you, uh, you guys are my favorite characters, but Bevers is a big, I'm a big fan of him. I know. Yeah. Uh, Where's Bill Bevers? I know he, the actor, got a new show on NBC. <sighs> is he going to be on the second season? Oh, he's all over the second yeah. season. He's all over. But we have a really fun, like, do you mind just like standing yeah. up? Do you mind? Just, okay, the real Bevers. Abby's <laughs> best friend is here, Jess Bevers. <laughs> A real beautiful woman. I don't understand that. You She's understand. a girl. She's a girl. She's so a beautiful girl. girl. Nothing like the character. <laughs> we made her. We made her John Jefferling. <laughs> it's so funny. Well, She's you know what? We were the, the first season in the writers' room. We were calling him Maddie, yeah. and you one note was like, "You guys got to give him a better name." And I was like, "We were like, oof, Bevers, Maddie Bevers, <laughs> Maddie Bevers." Yeah. And like when I watched the show, I'm like, "Ah, oh, Bevers," but then in real life, I'm like, "Bevers." <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, he's on the nice. second season for sure. Nice. Love that question. Hear that, NBC? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Uh, over here. This Gentlemen. Uh, no. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> next. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. Next. Next. So I have a question about the friendship between both of you in real life and the characters. Mm -hmm. And I was wondering if you guys could speak to maybe why you think that's such an important part of the core of the show versus two women talking about relationships or talking about men. I think that your friendship on the show is doing something different because it's so female centric. So I was wondering if you can talk a little bit more about maybe why that's such an important part of the core of the show. Um, and any thoughts that you might have about maybe how you're changing the kind of narratives that we see um, on TV about women, because I think you guys are definitely doing that. <laughs> um, I think that, <laughs> oh, I, yeah, I missed okay. a little bit of right. the first part of the question, but I, well, I think I got it. Yep. I think that we write them just how we talk to each other. And it's like the characters definitely have vaginas, <laughs> but it's not like on our mind when we're writing. It, Most of the time when they're talking to each other, they're not thinking about the fact that they have vaginas <laughs> at all. Not even yeah. boobs. Not even boobs. Because no. <laughs> other characters who aren't females could have boobs too, you know? Um, but it's more like they just like talk about whatever. And then, OK, like the. There are like female, like, I don't know, this doesn't happen, but it's like, save yourself, float away on like a tampon. You know, it's like, okay, that would be like, oh, a girl, that have, has to be a girl who has a tampon on her, you know what I mean? But it's like, the whole, all the conversations that would lead up to that event this, would not this be. This is my favorite. <laughs> Alana talking about this subject. <laughs> I've had so many I'm I'm just stony like, nights where Alana starts to talk about this subject. I'm just like, it's like they don't, yes. they're not like aware that they're women. I think yes. like a lot of, often yes. like things that you see, it's like men writing for women and the women are like, well, I just want to have sex with him because it's the dudes fucking writing it. <laughs> yeah. But if it's women writing it, they're just talking about whatever. <laughs> Right? It's just like. Yeah, I mean, I was really into the, the idea, like, these guys have sex, and it's just like, that's not what the episode's about. <laughs> it's not like, uh, I had sex today. You know, it's just like they just happen to be having sex while they're doing their things, which is what people do. And, you know, like. <laughs> you know, I mean, it's not sometimes the most important thing in your day that you had sex. And, <laughs> and um. <laughs> It isn't. And, uh, and also that they, you know, when they did their web series, they did a lot of stuff where they would, like, be harassed on the street, which would always make me laugh, their reaction to it, because it was all different kinds of, like, depending on how they were feeling about it. And that's a very buzzword topic right now, say, street harassment. And, uh, but uh, they have a lot it's of people talking about that. Oh, bad. Oh. It's bad. Boom. Boom. Bad boom. But <laughs> it's like this. <laughs> It's this really cool, they're, they're, they're not shamey about sex, they uh, don't shame other people about it, they really celebrate other women, they're really into, I mean, Abby spends, uh, Alana spends the whole episode all the time just telling Abby how gorgeous she is and how hot her ass is. <laughs> they're very, like, they really, you, you're picking up on what is true, which is they really like women, and it's really, it's really, really cool to see, and it's, um, and it's also, it doesn't, it's not, like, exclusive, it doesn't mean that it doesn't include men or it doesn't celebrate men because they both really love men. And we were joking for a while that it would be really funny if like the only guys that they had sex with were like crazy supermodels. And then, <laughs> remember that? I pitched one time, I was like, why don't you just get crazy supermodels? And you never mention their looks ever and nobody ever talks about it. <laughs> <laughs> just like every television That's why show with guys. You know, That's it. That's, That's where I came on. <laughs> I get it now. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like what you said also um, earlier, Amy, like about the, that it's like the romance between the two girls. It's like, um, you know, it's just a romance between two friends. <laughs> Platonic. I want for this now. gentleman to ask a question. It's a gentleman. Amy, that's my job. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry, Seth. Okay, fine. This guy, yeah. I'm sorry, Seth. Because I wanted him to. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Seth and I are sharing custody. Of the yeah. <laughs> supposed to be with me this weekend. Anyway, thank you both for choosing me. Appreciate it. Thanks to both You're of welcome. You. You're welcome. Okay, so some of the funniest and also the most relatable scenes on the show involve drugs and 
pot, whether it be pot or coke. Those are some of the most quotables that we have from those scenes. But obviously, it's controversial. So I'm curious how you guys sell it in, how you prioritize that being part of the storyline, because I think it's some of the most crucial parts of this show. <laughs> Huh. I don't know. I, I don't think it, it's not usually a center, uh, like the plot line of something. But. Well, pussy weed. Yeah, that one. Besides, yeah. <laughs> right, you're right. Yeah. Right. So, I, I mean, did have a note this season of there was a yeah. little bit too much weed use, a little bit, right? Maybe? In the, in the very beginning. <laughs> Only after like three scripts. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. But I mean, it's it's yeah. kind of like it's kind of like the sex politic of like incidental. You know, is it like based on reality? Like, yeah, it, it's it's almost like it's not so much a choice. Like, let's write an episode about this drug or anything. Um, it's just kind of like if it ushers the story in the right way, then it then it helps. If it's like, you know, sometimes it's like. Do we justify this because they're blazed, or or do we just are they just like so s stupid in this moment, you know? And then at that point, it's like, what's the difference? You know? <laughs> it has been used to like heighten story or boost yeah, story like along. the like it, the coke um, thing did. Yeah, the coke thing is like, uh, you know, my character's like trying to have this big night and it like let go a little and partake. And I feel like that like that like drove you to the like DJ's house where it's like maybe it wouldn't have or like it like helped justify a little, but it's not like that was that was the reason or anything. It just is like if you like the drugs though there's so much in season 2. Yeah. <laughs> there's like even so more. Gonna be, yeah, there's <laughs> so much. More. You're going to have so many quotes. So no. <laughs> It became very casual. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very controversial. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. This guy right there in front of you. Easy trip. Amy, congrats on the book. Thank you, sir. Woo! 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 What's the strangest, if any, suggestions you've gotten from fans? For example, you audition to be Nick City dancers, or you apply for a food truck permit, or. Like, That's funny. For the show, like episodes? <laughs> yes, yes, not, okay, not in life. in life. Oh, okay. pit, pitches for the show? Yeah. Yes. Have you guys been people pitched, pitch you a lot of pitch ideas? ideas? You could tell about this special. Get street the other pitches? Night. I didn't read it, though. No, I know, but that's the thing. Like, we, we're on tour right now, and we're, um, a fan gave us like a spec script. And it's like, you can't, you can't, um, can't read it. You can't read it, because if they see, because in the worst case scenario, we would read it and be like, <laughs> take it and then not credit them. But because we don't want to be, we don't want that to even possibly be perceived. You can't even take it. But I do like the food truck permit. <laughs> <laughs> you're you're you indemnified against lawsuits. Yeah. Yeah. Then that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? Uh, in the back row there, green scarf. Is that a scarf, wrap, neck wrap? <laughs> all, of the above, all of the above. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Um, first, I was wondering if we can count on a Leslie Nope Joe Biden 2016 ticket, if that. <laughs> oh, nice, oh. dude. That would be, would I have to do it? <laughs> you know, I'll, me. I'll play Leslie Nope, sure. I'll be <laughs> and then I was wondering if you guys talk a bit about more about Hack into Broad City and how you came up with that idea and if it's something we're going to see more of. They've been awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks for um, watching. Yeah. We, so when we were doing the web series, we got real organized mm -hmm. and did a series within the series <laughs> called, <laughs> called Hack into Broad City. So in the second season, every other, every other week was a video chat. And that's sort of, we, when we went out to pitch it, we pitched th that these video chats would be a device that would come into play. And then um, when we got picked up for a second season, we were like, there's like a big chunk of time in the middle where there's no content, why don't we like make some content? Yeah. Um, pitch it to Comedy Central, they were down and they helped us, you guys helped us write them and um, we made them. Um, Go one on. Our, one, of our, one, of our, one of our editors, um, Liz Merrick, who is, oh, she's so, can I curse? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have so been. fucking good. Woo! <laughs> She is. She's like a writer in yeah. post. 
She's and amazing. she um, she directed them, and she um, is really looking to get into directing. So it was like a really good opportunity. Awesome. Thanks for watching again. Yeah. <laughs> Great question, green scarf. Uh, <laughs> beanie. <laughs> 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 What's up? My name is Beanie. <laughs> Crazy. Uh, okay, really so back to the like few questions ago about um, whether or not you like write for Abby and Alana as like with the idea that they're women in mind. Um, so there's like that scene where Lincoln, where Alana is like going under for a tooth. And Lincoln's like, I was like what? Uh, <laughs> and Lincoln's like, oh, so we've been dating for like whatever, and you know he's like, you're like going out, and he's like, when are we gonna be officially dating? And you, can you like stop eating or getting eaten out, whatever, you know, <laughs> by the I random dudes? Remember. Um, do you think about <laughs> that? Like so, like, um, let me try and not say like. Um, <laughs> Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> normally, like, <laughs> say normally, um, people say that women are the ones who are like, are we going to be in this relationship? Mm -hmm. Like, when you, which is not true. <laughs> um, but, so do you think about, though, not typically, I mean, always, do you think about, though, like, when you're writing for, like, Lincoln as, like, oh, let's make him the opposite and show people, like, girls aren't the only ones that think this way, or is that just his character? May I, may I, I think that's a really good example of, mm -hmm. I don't think there's a lot of relationships on TV where the girl's like, I just wanna keep fucking, and <laughs> the guy's like, when am I gonna be able to call you my girlfriend? And she's like, this is too stressful for me. <laughs> yeah, I just don't see it a lot. And Hannibal's so funny because he's so sweet. And you know he's he's playing like in in so many different ways against type of like playing like, um, and he's just like I I mean I'm always like when is Alana gonna tell Lincoln that he's there? like I want her to Aww. tell him, but I'm old fashioned. Though. <laughs> <laughs> one of the cutest I'd say one of the cutest Hannibal Burris moments ever was I I ran into him and I told him I was gonna be on the show, and that part of our storyline is romantic. <laughs> and he was like, are you with Abby or Alana? And I, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, uh, Abby. And he goes, there's like a moment. And he goes, even though it's not real, I would have been jealous. I love that kind of oh, that's, that's so sweet. <laughs> it was so nice. Oh. <laughs> that's so cute. It was adorable. Oh. Uh, okay, uh, anyone else? More <laughs> questions? Look good. at this. <laughs> Dina, okay, here we go. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for doing this, guys. Such a treat. Uh, my question is, um, what's next for you guys? There's rumors you're working on a movie, and how has the success of the first season affected you now? Like, do you feel like there's more eyes on you, more pressure, or anything like that? Do you, do you feel pressure? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think there definitely, I think we definitely did feel pressure writing and like making the second season. Now that it's almost finished, I feel really, I fucking love it. <laughs> yeah, it was but. interesting. Like the first season, it was like, it was a little bit more like in our brains. We were like, I know this is funny. And then second season, even though I, we had a positive reception, um, the second season, I feel like it was a little bit more like, this is funny. This is funny, right? <laughs> is this funny? It's funny, right? Like, I mean, it, it, it's interesting how it um, doesn't, like, it, it made us put more pressure on ourselves than less um, after the first season. Yeah, I don't think you ever really, like, stand on the top of the hill and you're like, we did it. <laughs> right? Like, we're done, guys. Let's go get a drink. <laughs> like, funny. <laughs> Just <check>. Comedy. <laughs> Comedy achieved. <laughs> <laughs> that would be amazing. That would be, <laughs> that would be amazing. Nice. So, uh, I, but I, I have to say, as a, as a person that's seen the second season, it's so good. 
And there's a couple episodes that are fucking crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that um, I mean, a lot of do some shit that's really, really good. And I don't like to say has never been seen on television because it, that's not usually true. But there are a couple things. <laughs> yeah. 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 And also we, um, like us too and all our writers, we all have like different projects going on either together or in different combinations or solo projects that keep feeding the, the group's um, creativity. You know, we keep being like, we're, we're able to feed the project with other experience. I mean, there's not too much time for it, but you know, it's, it's, it is nice to do a little web thing here or there or have, you know, Abby's an illustrator to, you know, just make a book like it's so easy, but like, and you know, And you guys are touring like, right now. What's you know, that like to tour on, with the season behind you? We are um, on a bus. <laughs> <laughs> We're like in the middle of like a tour around the country right now for our live show. It's so crazy. Right? Yeah, it's it's what really is, it's so bizarre. It's such a blur. It's and we've never done anything like this before. I've never gotten up every night for an hour and like and a half, you know, over and over and over again. It's bizarre, but um, it's like uh, sort of like a reality TV show in our brains that's happening. <laughs> we have like a challenge to make it to the Thanksgiving, baby. <laughs> then we get to go home. <laughs> but it's you know, it's like a lot of different things. It, I think we all want to be um, just diversifying our body of work for as long as people will uh, fund us. <laughs> right? yeah. True. Anyone, oh, uh, this lady in the black here. Thanks. <laughs> First, the Bed Bath & Beyond coupons really hit the nail on the head. Never uh, My question is, <laughs> I mean, Point on. Um, <laughs> the, since you come from an improv background, how much improv is in the show? Which, or is it written? Let me answer? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, great. Um, <laughs> I think in the final cut, I mean, you guys uh, check me on this, maybe like 5% or something, maybe a little less, a little more. I mean, I think sometimes it can help us on in a scene like, unlock something that maybe isn't working, we'll kind of take a step back. And actually we do it a lot in the writer's room. If we have a scene that we know this is what's gonna happen and then we'll have somebody improvise as the other character or whatever. And I think Paul improvises every other character, right? <laughs> <laughs> Paul improvises a lot of the characters. Yes. But, um, um, that's sure. actually, I think, the place where it comes in mm -hmm. to play the most. But I think on set, it's, it's, I think we work really, really hard um, to make it seem improvised, but it's actually, I think, far more scripted than, than one would guess. Is that right? Yeah, it's like <laughs> plot points can't be improvised, you know? But like, it's more like flourishes. I would say five to, yeah, 10, maybe, maybe 15, we, just of like flourishes though, not not like these points that you stay on or grow out of. Right. We kind of used your um, Parks mentality. Yeah, we have a fun motto at, or model at Parks that we do, which is we save a little bit of time for improvising, so, um, we kind of get the scene and then we do this thing called a fun run, which is a goofy name. <laughs> <laughs> Comedians love a rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> really cheesy. And you know, it usually just means like a longer, less funny version of what you just did. <laughs> <laughs> but knowing as an actor that you can do it is really fun because you want it like, it's weirdly important to keep your crew laughing. Uh, you want your crew to think you're funny because they're staring at you all day. <laughs> and, uh, and also just to know like, oh, I have this idea, I'm gonna give it a try and I just will just get it on, I'll just get it, you know, shot so that we might be able to use it. And then you go into the editing room and you're like, you know what, take a look at that take. And then you watch it and you're like, <laughs> <laughs> you're like it doesn't work. But just to be able to give that chance is, I think as an actor, is like, it, it feels good. Like you can just be, um, you know, have that opportunity. And some guest stars bring so much to the role that you wouldn't have guessed otherwise that you kind of let them a little bit, let the leash go a little longer for them because sometimes mm -hmm. they can bring stuff to a scene that you could have never guessed and that's really their only opportunity to, to show you what, what they're thinking. And so, so I'd say that, that sometimes we let mm -hmm. that happen. And I think we, we cast people and, and ask people on that have that sort of same mentality. Yeah. Like it is for the most part scripted, but there's a loose, looseness yeah. that, yeah. We're not gonna correct somebody's like 
how they yeah, say that yeah, line, yeah, make sure yeah, it's yeah. exact, like that's, you know, it's fine. Yeah. We also will be like, say it in your own words right. type of thing, like just what's the, like what's the point of this dialogue? You have to like actually like step back from it for a second and like what's the point of this? And then it's like, how, how would you actually say it? Gamberling, you know, Paul, Hannibal, not Lincoln, not the, you know, not the characters. How would you actually just say this? Mm -hmm. Uh, all right, we're winding down uh, in the back there. Hi, big fan of the show. Um, I just wanted to reiterate that I really like the way that the show portrays female sexuality um, in that it's unapologetic and these women have their own agency and it's just really great to see because you don't see that much. And it seems like Alana specifically has uh, a very free sexuality in the way that she's always making comments about how she kind of has a crush on Abby. <laughs> and it's also Aww, hilarious. So I was just wondering if you could talk about like where that idea came from. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, and also, uh, if you ever see that that might lead anywhere or, if, or with anybody else, I don't know. Good question. Mm -hmm. Who knows? Well, New York. Will they, won't is, they? <laughs> yeah. New York is filled with so many hot ass people. For real. People in New York mm -hmm. are so hot. That's one thing that like it's <laughs> to the show. Unrelated. <laughs> Unrelated. You need to get that on the chest. <laughs> but just like, but she asked about walking around and me talking oh, yeah, to people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're right. The, you know, that's what it is. There's an episode without giving anything away where Alana um, goes on a journey. <laughs> <laughs> That's all. <laughs> and uh, I mean, I can't. Get, I don't want to give away the movie that it's based on, but uh, I, won't, oh, yeah, I, won't, I won't too much, too much. But, but let's just say that the, both Abby and Alana have a day where they kind of like their biggest um, crush. Like they have these like something is fulfilled in this super uber day, and there's and Alana. Um, crosses over to another side. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, is that yep. the right way yeah, to say yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Dope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See you there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to follow that one. Um, so, you guys have roots as live performers, and you've been doing this tour. You've been touring around with the Broad City Show and doing it at UCB. How does that live performance with an audience inform the television show and your characters? Um, well, the, the live show that we're doing right now, I and mean, we just started last week, and we sort of do the same show. But we've been doing this Broad City live show at UCB now for over two years. Mm -hmm. I think we we kind of test out a lot of stuff. A lot of our material comes in and out of there, right? Mm, definitely. I think what we landed on ended up being now, because um, we had to like make this set show, it ends up that a lot of it uh, is like a little tease for season two things, but season two, whatever, you'll see in the show. But um, yeah, it definitely like is a place to try stuff out. Like Lucia is saying we improvise in the room you know, it's not like we'd necessarily, well, we would. We, we, we do practice sometimes, like, a little conversation and be like, is this so stupid, you know? Or, like, is it funny? Um, it's really, uh, it's almost suffocating to not have that outlet. But to have that outlet, it's like, all right, you, you know, your, your, our show is, um, we've been told by, like, reviewers the, the looseness of our live show versus the polishedness of our TV show, even though I feel like the TV show is, is, looser than most shows you see too. Um, but it's just helpful as actors too. Cause like to show up to set and be like, how many months have I not like acted in? It's like, so, it's so weird. Um, so it helps just keep that alive. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Um, we're about to, is there anything you guys want to say to the people in closing <laughs> who, who came out and uh, I don't know. I mean, um, Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Yeah, thank you so much uh, yeah I mean, I, I worked on their show for a very short period of time, and it was truly one of like the nicest groups of people I'd ever been around. And like they really had an impressive system in place, and it was hilarious and supportive and like kind of an ideal situation. So uh, congratulations on obtaining that. <laughs> uh, and thank you all for coming. Thank you so much.